big flips here again. Got another tutorial. This one is on the ice pick spin, which looks like this. Uh, here is a slow mo. Okay, so this move here is a cool move. The reason it's called the ice pick spin is actually because ice climbers use this move. Like they carve like ice sculptures on mountains and stuff. And they do this, and then they like, you know, climb the mountain with the ice pick. So that's pretty cool. But uh, really, this is like probably like my favorite move, honestly. Uh, even though I know like better moves that are cooler looking, uh, this move, well, not necessarily cooler looking, what I'm saying is this move is really cool looking and it's really easy. Uh, all right, so here we go into the tutorial. So to start off, uh, usually you do this one with the safe handle. Um, you can do it starting either open or closed. I'm going to start open, I suppose, for this uh, just to make it easier. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to start with it open, grab the safe handle, and flip the knife over the back of your hand. Um, while it's here, you want to grab with your thumb and middle finger as low down as possible on the knife. So usually about two-thirds of the way down, maybe three-quarters of the way down uh, is where you want to grab it. So usually if you start with it lower in your hand, it's easier. So you grab it as low as you can, pinch between your thumb and middle finger, and you're going to do a sweeping motion around while keeping it pinched, and the whole knife is going to rotate around your hand and wind up hitting the bottom of your palm. So what that looks like, I'll show you. So that ends up looking, start with it open, like this. So it hits the bottom of your palm. Then when you're here, you're just gonna wanna do a basic reverse open, which I've already done a tutorial on, but I'll just cover it real quick here. Uh, so you're gonna start with it open, over the back of your hand, grip near the bottom, flip it around, and you're gonna do a basic reverse open. So the way that works, basically the knife comes, swings down, it goes up and hits the back of your hand. As it's coming down again, you're gonna rotate the knife in your fingers, let it hit the back of your hand again, and then you're gonna go up and close it. So that was kind of more confusing than it should have been, but I do have a tutorial for that, which I'll link here. Okay, so there's the move with the reverse open. And you can also do it backwards. So if you come back the way you came. So for this one, um, you're already sort of in the perfect position if you just have it open, gripped like this, where you can grab the safe handle with your middle finger here and your thumb here. And you can let it drop. You can flip it around over top. Then you do a twist, fling the knife over the back of your hand and forward. So that was kind of quick, but I'll cover it again. So I'll do a whole rotation here covering everything. So start with it open, safe handle, middle and thumb, pinch low down on the handle and do a flip. Then let the blade swing around and hit the back of your hand. Do one rotation, then grab up the handle. That's the first thing. Then you can go back the way you came again. So you're going to take the knife with the safe handle closest to you, open in the reverse grip position, you're going to pinch with your thumb and middle finger right here, up high up on the blade, I guess, or low down, however, whatever your perspective is, but around three quarters of the way or two thirds of the way up the handle. You're going to let the other handle drop. You're going to spin the knife around and then you're basically just gonna do a basic open. So you're gonna twist, let it hit the back of your hand and open. So what that'll look like, that was the full rotations going down and then coming back up. Cool. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.